This isn't uh, an eclipse, but it's uh, something quite interesting nonetheless. Uh, more signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. The moon will perform a spectacular astronomical dance past three planets and a Leo constellation star as part of a rare lunar occultation on Monday. Depending on your location, you may get the opportunity to see Earth's natural satellite cover Venus, Mars, Mercury, or even one of the brightest stars in the sky, which is Regulus. Now, what is an occultation? An occultation occurs when a planet or an asteroid passes between an object in the distance and the object's observer. According to the science publication Earth Sky, the event promises to be the last time three planets are almost simultaneously occulted by the moon until 2036. Now, the discovery of the rings of Uranus can be credited to a 1977 occultation with a far-off star after NASA's uh, Kuiper Airborne Observatory spotted the stunning feature against its brighter backdrop during the celestial event. Now, the best place on Earth to see the moon glide between us and Mars will be around the islands of Hawaii at uh, 20 hundred hours Greenwich Mean Time. Okay, so if you happen to be around Hawaii, you might uh, be able to witness this event. People on board ships in the South Pacific could also get an eyeful of the Mercury occult before midnight on Monday should they have a telescope handy. Um, I always have one handy. How about you? I carry one in my back pocket, folks. No, just kidding. Anyway, in the current round of lunar flybys, people living around Australia, New Zealand, and Indonesia should have already experienced the occultation of Venus and Regulus, which took place between 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, people are posting messages on, and photos on Instagram and other social media platforms after witnessing the astonishing event. So this sounds, um, again, this is a rare event. Uh, I don't know if you'll live in one of these areas where you might actually have a chance to see it. But uh, I'll leave you a link to this, folks. And uh, when it comes to links, I'd ask you, please, check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress a Wayfarer story. If you're into current events, the machinations of the deep state, hackers, uh, North Korea, uh, current events, uh, you might uh, take great interest in this piece of uh, fiction that I've written. And I'd ask you please to check it out. There's a link in the description area below. Plus, there's a link to my blog site where you can read chapter one for free. So check that out as well. See if you even uh, might take interest in this story. There's a link to music as well, folks. And I'd ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, hit that bell icon so you can receive via email notifications when I post new content. And as always, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let his perfect peace that, that transcends all understanding guard your heart and mind. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.